Hello, I'm James Daly, I'm a certified master hypnotist and Ogden's own spoon bender. Today, actually, I'm here to demonstrate the ability that I also have to bend forks. I know it sounds kind of silly, and spoons, forks, what snacks, knives, well, they're a little bit dangerous, but the interesting thing about this is by taking a fork in my hand and just focusing energy into it, I've got my friend James here that's going to join me today to, to help demonstrate this. We're just going to place this right here on the table here. And just put a little bit of energy into the fork. And by doing this, it'll cause the fork to start to change. As you can see, it's beginning to happen right now. As we watch the fork, without touching it, just putting energy into the fork, we can cause this to slowly change. Now, I'll tell you how this all started for me. Is when I was a senior in high school, I heard a news report about the Israeli psychic. And he went to Stanford Research Institute without ever touching a piece of metal that was sealed in a glass tube in a ray of red room down the hall. He was able to cause the piece of metal to break into two pieces. The scientists could not figure out how in the world he had done this. Yeah, he did it in a laboratory situation. Really? And uh, it was in a laboratory. Just blew their minds. Well, getting back to me as a child in high school, I was amazed by this. I always felt that if the human imagination could think of something, there must be a reality to it. So with that in mind, yeah, I, agree. I went out and started researching psychic phenomena throughout the world. And even though I had worked hard, um, it was interesting that I always tell my clients to do this, that when you have a goal, to write it down. Instead of just thinking about it, to actually write your goal down. That's good, because that's what I do. I wrote my goal down that I wanted to meet Marie Gellar, if it wasn't uh, sometime within my lifetime. In fact, I think I wrote that if I live to be 100, I want to meet him before I die. Within six months, Marie and I became friends, and I'd love to say he taught me how I'm to do this. Marie too. He did teach me, but he did encourage me and inspire me to become the mentalist that I am today. Oh. Yeah, the difference between a mentalist and a mystifier is very little. A mentalist does different effects. A hypnotist, as I am, is probably the closest to real magic to what I do. But um, next to that would probably be spoon and fork bending. So simply by just putting a little bit of energy in here, you can see that the spoon or the fork will start to bend. And now, look, 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 you can see it starting to go. And there it is, as it rises. Keep going. Wow, that's right. Look at that. And it just keeps bending. It's moving by itself and bending. All by itself. Keep going. It's, it's moving by itself. Bending and bending. It's hard to describe how this works. You might wonder why I'm not all excited about it. It's perhaps yeah. I'm not excited about it. That would be telegraphed. Just the bend of fork by touching it. That this wouldn't happen. But the fact that I simply trust that it will happen, I know that by doing certain things, I can cause it's like the fork to bend. And as you can see, that is truly a badly bent fork. Wow. Pretty awesome, isn't it? That is what unbelievable. Can I pick it up? Can I examine it? Go ahead. Sure, feel free. You can pick it up. Look at that. Yeah. It's a real fork. Really badly bent fork. Well, thank you, James, for joining me. And thank you for watching this video. That's incredible. Thank you, James, for teaching us that.